Okay, we're going to practice using while loops and we're going to practice using while loops to calculate um, an average of some grades. So this is the program that we're gonna write. I'm gonna start just by running the program so we can understand how it works. It asks us to enter a grade, so we'll enter 100. And then uh, it says, are there more grades? We say, yes, we want to enter more grades. What's the next grade? 50 more grades. Nope, that's enough. Um, and the average is 75. Okay, great. So let's, uh, let's build this from the ground up because it's a little overwhelming to look at the whole thing at once. So we're gonna clear all of this, start back at the beginning. So the first thing we want to recall when calculating an average is that the average is the um, sum over the number of items. Um, and we'll see here that sum is highlighted in orange. So whenever you see something highlighted like this, it means that it's a, uh, it's a keyword, it's a reserved word that's already been used up by Python. So we don't want to use that as our variable name. So we'll instead um, call this the grade sum. And number, number of what in particular, the number of grades. Okay, great. So eventually when we want to get to the point where we're going to output this, which is going to represent the average of the grade. Now, we don't know exactly what to do next. So let's just start by saying, okay, well, we've got variables here. We need to make sure we declare our variables. So we're gonna do that first. So then uh, grade sum starts at zero because we haven't entered any grades. And similarly, the number of grades is going to um, start at zero. Now we're going to uh, do a couple of things. We're going to ask the user to input one grade at a time. So let's create a variable for that. We're going to ask, we're going to be asking for a current grade. Right now there's no current grade, so we'll just make it zero. And we also asked a question, does the user want to input more grades? And they could either type yes or no. So we'll start by adding another variable for that. More grades, yes it will be the default answer. So by default, we're going to say the user does want to input more grades. Okay, great. So um, we let's, let's first just figure out how we can input one grade. So we have this current grade variable. Um, and we want to ask for input from the user. So we're going to um, get input and we're going to ask the user to enter a grade, a grade. Um, and every time they enter a grade, we want to be sure to that the number of grades is increased. Number of grades plus one. Okay, and after we enter a current grade, we also want to add that current grade to the grade sum, right? Because every time we enter a grade, we're going to um, add it up. Current grade, okay. Now, I, I don't wanna go too far because I might've made a mistake in my coding here. So let's just run this and see where we're at. Okay, it says enter a grade. I'm gonna enter a 75. Oh, and I got an error. It says unsupported operand for um, string and int. Uh, so it says line 10, I was trying for divide, right? So I was trying to divide a string and an integer, the grade sum and the number of grades. Well, let's see, number of grades is a one, uh, is an integer, uh, but the grade sum is a string. Here we can see up here that grade sum is a string. So that's not what we wanted. I, I typed in a 75 though. We'll recall that we need to typecast, just like actors are typecast, we're going to typecast this variable into an integer. Let's try this again. Enter a grade, we'll try 75. Great, 75. Um, Obviously the average of one value is the value itself. So this is good. Now we want to allow the user to enter multiple grades. So after they entered all of this, we're going to um, this more grades variable here, we're going to say more grades gets input, um, enter more grades. We're gonna ask the user a question. We'll run this, enter a grade. 
75. Uh, more grades, no more grades, 75. Okay, that works. If I try and run this again, 70, uh, let's do 100 now. Enter more grades. Yes, I'd like to enter more grades. Well, the program ended. What happened there? Well, we didn't have any way for this program to continue. And so this is where our while loop comes in. So what do we want to do? The question we want to ask first is what needs to happen multiple times? What needs to happen multiple times is the um, user can ask for, uh, can enter a new grade. So we're going to put a while loop here. We're not sure what the condition is, the termination condition yet, but we're going to put this here. And we're going to indent all of this, right? Because this is the stuff that's going to happen over and over again. And the question is, when should this while loop loop run and when should it terminate? We want to continue running the while loop as long as uh, more grades is yes. Right, as long as the user had said, yes, I want to enter more grades, then we'll continue asking for grades. So let's test this out. 100, enter more grades, yes. Enter another grade, that's great. So this worked, It um, we executed this line, all these lines, that we asked for more grades. We typed in yes, it checked the condition. It said, okay, my condition here is satisfied, so I'm gonna continue. Enter grade 50, enter more grades, no. And we get 25, which is definitely not the right answer. Uh, why is that? Uh, that's because the grade sum should actually be the grade sum plus the current grade. Let's try that again. Enter the grade, more grades. Yes, enter grade 50, enter more grades, no. Now we get 75, that's our answer. Okay, great, so so far we've, um, we're calculating the average. Now, what if we wanted to change this program so that rather than entering a grade, number grade, we could enter a letter grade. Um, and that letter grade would be something like A, Let's keep it simple. Well, A plus or an A or an A minus, etc. What are we going to do now? Well, we don't want to cast this to an int anymore, right? Because we're entering in letter grades instead. But somehow we do need to get that letter grade A plus A, A minus and somehow turn it into a, um, a number. So we're going to recall our work on conditionals. If current grade, grade equals a plus, oops, a plus, then we're going to use the mutability of our variables. We're going to say current grade gets 4.0 okay and now we say elif else if the current grade equals a i think that's also a 4.0 actually elif current grade, oops, gets or equals a minus, then the current grade is, I think this is a 3.7. Now remember, because we're using if, elif, else if, then what we're going to do is uh, only one of these lines is ever going to execute. So rather than typing the whole thing out, let's test what we have so far. So far, enter a letter grade. I'm going to enter A plus. Enter more grades. Sure. How about an A minus? Enter more grades. No. Three point eight five. That sounds like the average between these two. Great. So that's working. 
Um, of course, we would need to uh, run this with more of, uh, we'd need to complete our um, conditions. But what, what if we were to type in, what if we didn't do that yet? We typed in A and then we typed in, yes, more grades. And then we typed in a B. We got an error, unsupported operand types for plus, float, and string. So line 14 was not very happy. So line 14 here says this one, the first one is a float, and the second one is a string. So um, why did that happen? Well, the conversion from a string to an integer is happening in these um, statements right here. What if we don't hit any of these? We don't have an else condition, right? So we could say else here, and then this would catch anything else. And then maybe we print out a warning. Say warning, bad grade or unknown grade, unknown, unknown grade. Once again, we type in an A, enter more grades, yes. And if we enter a B, We still get our error, but we also got the error that we wrote, warning, unknown grid. So we can know why this happened exactly. So uh, with more advanced code, we could even prevent this from happening entirely, but we don't really care about this in this class. So uh, this is the basic idea of how to calculate your GPA um, in Python.